how to get into Adobe's new Easter updates early. Your first step is to go and head on over to the Easter event location. Once you're here, what you want to do is enter the shop. This is where we'll be going and gaining access to the brand new stuff. I'm sure you're all aware that Adobe intended to go and release brand new pets and more accessories to go and purchase than what already exists. Which is why if you enter this location, you'll see a sign that says releasing in two days, and you'll also see a sign that releases in nine days. But I managed to discover a glitch that allowed me to go and explore what is behind this mysterious area, giving us secrets into what the brand new pads are going to be, and revealing everything that we need to know about Adopt Me's Easter update coming soon. Our first step is to go and grab ourselves a crate stroller. Now this stroller is optimized to be a pretty decent length and also the correct height to be able to trick your pet into going and breaking through a wall. Now for this trick to work, you can either go and have yourself an alt account or a pet which has a fly or a ride potion on it. Now this is the interesting part. So if you typically go up to a wall, you'll notice that your stroller goes all the way through it, right? But if you go and have a pet equipped, your stroller just simply gets stuck and if you click on anything, it just doesn't work. So there's different techniques to, oh, to, to do it. But typically if you just try a few times, you'll be able to go and get your pet to push through. Okay, I'll be honest, normally it takes like five minutes. I um didn't think that was gonna work. So you have to do it in a certain location. If you do it in a location where it has this giant, thick, big wall, then you won't be able to go and gain access through it. But if you do it where the wall is thin enough that you can see through it, then you'll be able to go and gain access. Now, once you've gone and escaped this area, you might question yourself, well, what is this and how is this useful? Well, once you've escaped, you can actually go and start to explore the map. So from beyond this point right here is where typically you're not meant to go and gain access to. So let's have a quick peek and as we can see this is the top secret location which we're not really meant to go and gain access to until another 9 days. But first let me show you what we're going and getting in 2 days then we'll go and explore the 9 days section and find out what the brand new pets are going to be. Here we can see all of the normal stuff in the spring shop that you can already go and purchase. And if we are to go and travel around, you can see all of these strange type of things, such as this large block of water, just straight up a giant cube of water. But over here is what looks like a giant bucket of sand. That's right, a, a giant sand bucket. And from here, we can actually see the inside. Wait. Did I just, did I just go through it? What? I'm now in this secret room. You all know that this room isn't meant to be accessible. If we're to try and gain access into this room, typically we just speak to this crab and see that this update is coming out in a couple days. And from in here, we can actually see that there is one, two, three, four, five new little pedestals. And each pedestal typically goes and means we're going and getting something which is purchasable. So as we can see on these little pedestals, we can see that there are pets, toys, and all those other things, which does mean that yes, we are guaranteed to be going and getting a pet, which I will go and show you shortly of what that brand new pet is. But let's now go and check out the rest of the map. There's just a floating palm tree. We like palm trees. That's just casually there. I don't think anyone's ever going to see that palm tree apart from me so well done adopt me i have discovered your secret palm tree so there's actually another secret place which is this one but this doesn't actually do anything i lots of people are thinking that this secret door would have given us a purpose but maybe it would teleport you somewhere but if not it's actually just a just a straight up an empty room so this is the hole that i came and exited through because there is a perfect small little gap small enough just for a human body to climb through any other gap actually isn't big enough which is annoying so now the question is can i go and use the glitch to go and gain access back 
into this room. So what we're going to do is stop the ride, and then what you want to go and do is grab a stroller. So I'm not sure if this would even work, and I'm not actually cheating or doing anything wrong. This is just a thing that Adopt Me has allowed. There's no, like, hacks or anything. So we're going to do this and then press the button that says Fly. And now you'll notice I am inside of the room, which we're not meant to gain access for, for another nine days. That's right, we are now in a new room, and what I'm about to show you might just blow your mind. But first, let me show you what the brand new pet is, and it is called a field mouse. Now this pet to me looks absolutely hilarious, and the pet rarity of this thing is a legendary, and everyone can go and get this from the 30th of March. So if I was you, be sure to go and save up a ton of your Easter eggs in preparation to go and get a legendary field mouse. And that means this is most likely going to go and be a pet, which you can go and get using the Easter egg currency. Not only are we getting a new pet, we're also going and getting a brand new minigame. The brand new minigame is on a focus of building, which honestly I don't really know what that's going to be, but I guess we will find out soon. So anyway, we're in the secret location, which we're not really meant to be. But the thing is, this has revealed something shocking. This has revealed to me that we are getting a brand new Adopt Me Pet Box. And I will explain to you how I know that in just a second. So, you know in Adopt Me, we've got all of these gifts, right? You can go and open a gift, just like so, and potentially go and get a legendary. Please, fingers crossed, nope, we got a tractor stroller. There we go, look at that. The great thing, that's definitely what I wanted. Anyway, what I meant is that you can go and open pet boxes. I think you've all seen it recently with the gorilla boxes, for example. You open it up, and you've got a chance of going and getting a legendary variation, pretty similar to how literally any of these boxes work. Like this one, 4.5% legendary chance. Well, what can we see here? Well, there's actually three pedestals, which... That, that could just mean anything, right? And then there is a box pedestal. So this is probably going to be how this works. This will be a common, this will be a rare, and this would be a legendary. Or this would be a rare, ultra rare, legendary. And now how do I know that? Well, Adopt Me kind of made one big mistake. They left this board in. Now, why would there be a board next to three pedestals and the fourth pedestal being where you'd go and purchase the mystery box? So, this could be an Easter egg, like an actual Easter egg where you open it up and you could get one of three different variations of a brand new pet. As of what those three different pets are remains slightly a mystery as of now because uh, they, they haven't said anything because we're not meant to see this for another week, which is definitely interesting. So not only are we getting a mystery box, which isn't guaranteed, I mean, this could just be like a mystery gift box section where you could just buy like an Easter gift, for example, and you might just get it, but I'm pretty sure, based off of previous updates, that this will be some type of mystery box where you can go and get one of three variations of a brand new Easter pet. As for what is over here, probably maybe like some toys, a glider, a vehicle, something, just a something regular. I don't know what this is. This is just a big circle, which looks interesting. And you can actually see this part of the map through here, which is really fascinating that they've decided to go and make it like that. And then over here, we can see that there is a sign, and this says nine days. Nine days, and I am already in the event. So the Gorilla Fairground update does leave. So I guess buy a few boxes of those with your remaining bucks if you have got that already. But as for now, this is how you go and gain access into the top secret location. Click this video here to find out about pets that Adopt Me is planning on removing. Watch it quick before they go and get removed from the game.